Welcome to Handicrafts Made Simple. Today I'm going to teach you how to do the running stitch. This is the most commonly used stitch in sewing, and it's also the easiest. So first we need some thread, and a needle, and a scrap of fabric, which I'll grab right over here. If you're just starting out, you're going to want to pick a color of thread that shows up very well against the fabric, because that makes it easier to see the stitches and learn how to do this. Alright, first you need to cut a piece of thread, and I recommend no longer than from your nose to your hand, otherwise it gets all tangled and there's thread flying everywhere. If you're small, about a foot to a foot and a half would be a good length. Once you have it cut, grab your needle and find a little hole on the end. This is called the eye of the needle. And we're going to stick the thread right through that hole. Nine times out of ten, it'll go through without a problem. However, such as today, it is deciding to not go through because the end is all frizzy. So I'm going to cut it again. Watch it. There we go. And stick it through. There. And we have a now threaded needle. Once you have yours threaded, pull it out and do it again. The practice helps make it easier the next time. Okay, we have a threaded needle. Make sure the tail is the right length. The tail of your thread is the shorter length. We're going to put, uh, eventually you'll learn how to put a knot in the longer length to keep it from pulling all the way through. But the tail is what helps keep the needle from slipping right back off the thread while we're sewing. And you want it to hang down about half to two-thirds as long as the other tail. Okay, so once that's threaded, grab your scrap fabric and we're going to start sewing. You're going to take your needle, you're going to go in and out, and watch out for your fingers underneath because the needle is sharp. In and out, in and out. We're going to pull it smooth, yeah. leave a little bit on the end. Do a few more here. In and out, in and out. We're going to pull it. See, if you pull it too tight, the fabric will bunch up and it'll look all nasty. Alright, now we're going to do some smaller ones, because the smaller the stitch, the neater the finished project will look. And you're going to want to practice sewing this in a straight line. So if you need to get a ruler and a pencil and just draw a line on there to sew along, go right ahead. Out. Pull it through like that. Do some more. In out, in, out, in, and out. And there we have a little row of stitching. We'll be using this stitch for a lot of other projects, so um, practice it until you feel comfortable with it, and you can do it fairly easily. Another thing you'll want to know is how to tie a knot in the end of your thread, so that when you're working on an actual project, the stitches don't just pull out. There are two ways to do this. One is to just grab it and tie a regular knot, or, my personal favorite way, is to pinch it between your thumb and forefinger, wrap it around once, and roll it off. Then you come up here, grab, and pull it snug, and then you have a nice little knot. Practice tying a knot and the running stitch until you feel comfortable with it, and I'll see you next time.